Hi everyone, on behalf of the co-charting team, I'm gonna try and walk you through one of our upcoming features, which we are calling as the Paper Trader. So the Paper Trader, as you all know, gives you a simulated environment in which you can practice your trades with virtual money. So this is, without wasting too much time, I'm gonna like dig in. Uh, so we are right now looking at Coinbase BTC USD on a one minute chart. We got a nice little pump in here going. So let me walk you through the various parts of this paper trader. So first up on the right hand side, you have the go charting app store. This is how you're gonna, this is basically how you pull it up. So within the go charting app store, you got a lot of apps. One of them right now is the paper trader. Now this is in our dev environment, which I am working out of right now and it will soon be live in a couple of weeks. So the paper traders, you click on the paper trader, right? And it says the broker is connected. Now the paper trader in GoCharting is a zero commission broker and gives you unlimited funds to trade with. So uh, you have this trade, but in order for you to be able to use this, you need to be logged in. And then you get this trade button you could either use this or you could use this button here in the bottom which says new order both of which will open up a panel like this which are, we are calling as the trading panel now within the trading panel you have a couple of pieces here so you have the buy and the sell so these prices that you see are the bid and the ask so let me try and see if i can buy something right and the go charting Paper Trader gives you four types of order types to choose from. You have the limit order where you got the limit price and you can put it whatever price you want. Say, I want to start buying at 7080, probably somewhere in here, right? And I want to buy 10 BTC, I'm a rich man. Uh, and then you could either use some of these options which are like the take profit. Take profit is basically an option which allows you to actually book a profit at a given price right and then stop loss helps you mitigate your risk cut down your losses and we also got the option of using a trailing stop loss which is really cool which kind of keeps adjusting by itself depending on the price movement and the spread and then uh, this is basically the session so in go charting uh, all of your trades are uh, uh, are executed through the end of the session so every time you open a new session you got to restart uh, and then here we have a small little risk calculator. So it kind of gives you a good sense of uh, the positions you are taking and the risk and the reward associated with it. Next up is the market order and the market offer. You don't need a limit price. You just need a quantity and it kind of trades you at the current market price, which right now is at 7136. You have the stop order, stop order, stop market order is basically you put a a stop price a stop price is more like a trigger price at which it will either become a limit order or a market order depending on what you are choosing whether a stop or limit so those are the various parts of it so for example let me try and see if i can punch in a limit order right so i put a limit order of 7080 right somewhere in here so basically when the prices come down this is where i want to buy and probably i want to sell somewhere in here and make a nice profit and then, so in our, so I'm gonna try and trick a profit somewhere around 7180, 7180, right? So the risk reward says it's a 107, one is to seven uh, uh, ratio of risk reward and risk. And then I'm gonna put a stop loss to limit my losses somewhere around 7050, right? So now you can see that the reward is three times more than the risk because I have right now mitigated my risk by putting in the stop loss. So with all things being said, let me try and, uh, so this is a move, uh, you can literally move this uh, panel wherever you want, right? So I'm gonna try and put, put an order in and it says order ID, blah, 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 place successfully. So this is your limit order. If you want to look at all the trades that you have done, right, there's another button we have right now called the trading journal. And the trading journal basically gives you, so all of your trades come here, right? And you can have 
these are your orders so I have now one canceled order which I did probably two hours back right placed and then I have this order which I've just opened right now it says zero zero minutes ago and it's a limit order it's a buy and I bought it at 708 this is where it is I haven't made any trades yet so my positions pretty much I'm not in a position right now I'm not in trade and and that's my balance okay so it says so I haven't used anything in my balance yet so here uh, there's a couple of things that you can use this is a trade setting so I can uh choose some of these settings which we are going to walk through a little later right and then these are the list of fields that are available in this grid and you can choose from whatever field you want then you have the cancel order so this is kind of a shortcut button which lets you cancel all of your open orders at any given point in time and this is a download to excel so basically you you can download all of this data into an excel using this all right, so those are the basic parts. And then uh, here you can see, so I bought a quant uh, the trade size is 10, a limit order, <coughs> and it's a buy order. If I wanna change it, right, I could probably move it closer. So the moment I move it, I have this panel once again, and this time it shows modify and I'm okay. Now I'm going to move from 708, or which was the earlier price, to 7109. So I put a modify order, and it says modify successfully. And as you can see, this is now placed at 7109. <coughs> if you go back to our trading journal, it shows the same thing. All right. So that's where we are. If you want to cancel it, which we will, so you can probably just click here and it says confirm to delete the order and you say yes and it will say all right cancelled and if you go back and it shows cancelled once again right let me try and put in a market order to show you how you trade and oh so this is the other way you can pull up the trading panel this is through the context menu you can literally go here and say buy right so it it will give you the panel with all the details already filled in. But right now I just want to go with the market order and I can place an order of 10 BTC. I feel rich. So I'm going to go ahead and buy. We already have seen that the market has gone through a pump, but I feel more optimistic. So I'm going to try and buy it at this level. I'm not a good trader. So you hear this beep, right? And then you see that there are two things happening. One, there's an arrow which shows how much you have bought. And this was the successful execution. <coughs> and then it also gives you the position line. So what position are you holding right now, right? So right now I have bought 10 BTC USD, right? And my position is minus $37, which means the price is going down. Oh, I'm in, uh, I'm in green round. So it's plus 57. So I've made a little of money. So you see, I bought it here and right now it is trading at 7128 and I bought it at 7122. So whatever is the difference is in my position uh, given the trade size. So this is where I am right now. So if I go back and go to my trades now, you can see that I can see that there was one trade that I did here. And then in the orders, I can see that it got filled. There was one trade that got filled. In positions, I can see what is my position here, 7122.52, that's my position. This is my the PNL, right? And it automatically shows that I'm right now at $124 up, right? And that's my balance. That's where it shows, again, a PNL. So that's where we are. So here again, you got two options, right? There's this, this option using which you can close the position, means you now are going to put in another market order of the same size, but right now on the opposite side. So this was a buy order. So now a sell order is going to be placed a market order of, of the same size. And here you can see, whoops, the go charting sold 10. So I bought 10, I sold 10, my position is now a, a offset. So here, if I go back to the position, well, yep, position doesn't show anything because we don't have anything. And then 
here I can see that I actually made a loss of $54. Well, that's not good. So 